It was just another day on Leviathan.com. I was supposed to be interviewing Chris Jones, a game developer, an excellent actor, and a snappy dresser. And one of the driving forces behind the well-loved Tex Murphy series of PC games during the mid to late 90s. I could barely contain my excitement. Hey pal, everyone knows reverb heavy voiceovers are my thing. Get your own shtick. Sorry. Welcome to Leviathan's first ever video interview. And for our first interviewee, we've got the man behind the fedora, Tex Murphy himself, Chris Jones. Howdy, folks. As you know, I'm a huge fan. I've done several videos on the series, and it is a tremendous honor and a pleasure to be able to do this interview. So I wanted to say thanks right off the bat. Now let's get to it. I know why I'm looking forward to Project Fedora, due to release this fall, but maybe you'd like to explain why all gamers should be looking forward to it. Tell us about the game. Well, this is the sixth game in the Tex Murphy series, and we're known for our humor, inventory puzzles, logic puzzles, full motion videos, and big mysteries solved by Tex Murphy, the idiot savant detective, and that's played by yours truly. But the big thing about Project Fedora is, uh, you know, we're still going to feature the multipath narrative, meaning that your ending is dictated by the choices you make during the game. Aaron Connors and I have always sought to create story-driven adventure games, and for Project Fedora, we've made it so choices players make determine the ending of the game. You've managed to resurrect Tex Murphy after a very successful Kickstarter campaign, and you've been hard at work developing Project Fedora. Over the past nine months, what have you found to be the differences between developing a crowdfunded game versus a traditionally funded one? Well, in our case, I think it's really the involvement and input from the backers who help make the return of Tex Murphy possible. It's been invaluable. It helps direct our project creatively and functionally, and it's an excellent way to keep an ear to the ground. The unique aspect that Kickstarter has allowed is the direct contact with many of the backers and true Tex fans. We've even had many of the backers visit the set during filming, and we were able to talk to them and get their feedback, which was amazingly unique and advantageous experience, which obviously we didn't have when we made the other games. Obviously, graphics and processing power have come a long way since Texas' last adventure, but you've never strayed far from game design over the years. How have newer principles of game development influenced the design of Project Fedora? Well, we definitely want to keep this experience fresh. I mean, the design may be similar to our older games, but we wanted to make sure that Project Fedora, uh, you know, keep the player focusing on task while uh, he's still immersed in this world around him. And one thing we definitely wanted to do with this game is make sure that each path was clearly defined and individual. When you're playing Project Fedora, you'll have a better idea of what path you're on because of the choices you make. You'll know what ending uh, that you're going to get, and basically, you'll deserve the ending uh, through the choices that you're making. It's going to feel very obvious that way. Meanwhile, I think the performances will be better and more relatable. It's in HD, so it's definitely, uh, you know, you, you get a better feel for each of the characters because it's, it's clearer and it, it's used to the frame rate that you're used to seeing in movies. I think overall, this game uh, promises to be focused, fast-paced, and immersive. And I think that people will really enjoy that. And of course, there's the flip side of that coin. Whether brought on by new technology or new design principles, what new challenges have you faced? Well, again, uh, it's, it's updating it so that it feels fresh. Attention spans in gaming have changed over the past 15 years, and it's a challenge to keep people engaged and make sure that the player's experience feels vibrant and new. As I understand it, you've already wrapped principal photography. Uh, and after not having played the character of Tex for some years, after all this time, um, what was it like getting back in the saddle? Or should I say speeder? Well, making those Kickstarter videos definitely helped me get back into character. Once we got the final script from Aaron and Adrian arrived in town to set up the shooting, that's when I definitely felt uh, like, like it was old times again. One of my favorite things about the Tex Murphy series, uh, in fact, all of Big Finish's games, 
are those little perfect character moments. Uh, Jay St. Gideon's backstory, uh, Gordon Fitzpatrick's introduction, um, Sonny's final appearance all come to mind. How do you craft such powerful moments? And without spoiling anything, can we expect some doozies in Project Fedora? Well, one of the great things is being able to work with Aaron Connors. I mean, he's a brilliant writer, and, and one of the things that he does so well is craft the characters. It's always been a pleasure to read through the scripts and get immersed in that world, but Adrian is also magic on the set. There are just moments when it does feel like pure movie magic. With Project Fedora, you learn a lot about Tex. The game provides a pretty comprehensive look about you know where Tex came from and uh, where he's been. This is sort of on the same page, but you've never shied away from uh, mature themes and topics in your games, like racism, eugenics, and freedom versus order. Can we expect similar thought-provoking ideas backstopping the story in Project Fedora? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the game certainly touches on a lot of ethical questions. When we were working on the script, though, we wanted to make sure that the story could absolutely stand on its own. And we did our best to craft a story that leaves the player thinking long after the gameplay's ended. And even when the story gets pretty heavy metaphorically, though, the dialogue is still very sharp, and we did our best to keep the classic Texisms in there. So we are touching on all levels here, from deeply thought out to lighthearted and fun. That makes it a true Tex Murphy game. I checked the IMDB page for Project Fedora, and while I was pleased to see a lot of familiar faces, I definitely noticed a lot of new ones. Is it a challenge acclimating actors to your unique process? Has it ever been a challenge? Uh, actually, I think it was more of a challenge before. Uh, this time we tried to have most of the material uh, prepared for them before they came in. So when you first hand an actor a script, it does kind of throw them for a loop because they have to kind of understand how this works. And, you know, it isn't linear like a typical movie script. And so uh, from that standpoint, it can be rather intimidating. But, you know, it, I mean, it has to be that way so that it... it it truly sets this medium apart from its interactivity standpoint. But, you know, Adrian Carr, the director, does an excellent job at teaching actors about Texas world and how it works and how everything does turn out at the end. He communicates the vision very well, and the actors can easily slip into this post-apocalyptic, sarcastic world. Lastly, is there anything else you'd like to say? Now, let me think. Uh... Thanks for your time, Chris. It has been a thrill and an honor, sir. Hey, now I know where I've seen you. You're the guy who keeps going through my trash. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna... And suddenly, that's all the time we have. Uh, special thanks to Chris Jones, Courtney, and everybody else at Big Finish Games. Uh, look for Project Fedora to hit PC, Mac, and Android this fall. I'm Aaron Randolph, and this has been... A Leviathan video interview.